Ron, so nice to see you again. Always good to see you, Ron. Please tell me the origin of the S21 alarm. Well, I've always had some fascination with compact audio components, things that I would, from a lifestyle aesthetic point of view, love to own. Of course, I demand sound that is without compromise. It's one of the reasons Mac exists. Uh, my own personal drive to get deeper into the music. And so the SS80 basically takes the ingredients of uh, Master 300 and 6202, which are trickled down to the statement format of 52, and puts them in this really nice, just gumming up with an inch wide uh, format. And uh, it's based on two KT88s, which delivers about 90 watts. And uh, we'll run balancer single and inputs, full power output in four, eight, or six. And uh, there's a blinsome little device in both the eye and the ear. Uh, we ran a pair of them at the Southwest Audio Fest last month. And so we have on one shelf a master pre-amplifier. And the SS80s are on the sides, but they were smaller than the pre-amplifier. So that was kind of fun to see. How is the SS80 biased? Manual it, 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 or it runs with our patented IQ automatic biasing system, which continuously watches the underlying undercurrent of the two and keep them drifting up or down. Sound and also makes it essentially a plug and play device. It optimizes the tubes continuously and tells you, tells you when they're getting there. Can any tube be substituted for the KT88 or its KT88? Well, the KT88 family, you could put like a, a 606 radio or four in there, you could be on ratings, but KT88, KT90, KT99, KT120, KT150, KT170 are all fair game. Kevin, thank you very much. Great to see you.